Hello chaps, today I'm doing a tutorial on the plugin Image Sender. So this allows you to send images through chat using squares. So uh, there's quite a lot of different ways you can send it, but the usual way is forward slash image and then a link. So uh, this is the default one that the author has put in, which is a bucket of lava. So you can see it's done really well. And you can also change the size of it by putting a, uh, a number between 1 and 25, I believe. No, 5 and 25, yes. So here's an image I found earlier, just like Blue Peter, so it's a creeper. And if I change the size afterwards, say 20, it could get bigger or very, very small. But if you go too small, you might not be able to read it. So that looks really awesome. You can definitely tell what it is. So, um, next we'll move on to different ways of editing images. So now we're going to move on to different ways to manipulate the image. So uh, I've found a cow, here it is, and if you paste in the link, here we go, uh, select size 20, and then you there's uh, some other features, so there is char, so if I type in something random here, it will show all of them. So this um, neatens up the image if you do block, look how nicer that looks. And there's also some other ones like dark shade, uh, light shade, etc. So I'll show you a couple of these, just <laughs> if I can spell. There we go, that's quite an interesting texture. Let's have a look at light shade, light. That's probably worse, uh, medium, and then uh, we'll move on to the final thing, medium. There we go, not too bad, but blocks my favourite, definitely looks the best, you can see what the image is, and it looks really nice. So the final thing is you can add a player at the end, so if you add someone's name at the end, it will send it to them only, but by default it will just send it to everyone if you do not add this player's name. So thank you for watching this tutorial, I'm off to get on with my mechanics homework, and I'll see you in the next video.